now from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. Well, overall, the majority of our Saturday, pretty nice. We didn't have quite the windy conditions, of course, that we dealt with yesterday. And we saw a good amount of sunshine. That, however, began to change towards the second half of the day as clouds have slowly started to increase. And it's going to be a fairly nice day, at least temperature-wise, tomorrow before the cold front moves through. And as I mentioned before the break, that's going to usher in some of the coldest air of the season so far. Feeling a lot more like fall now. And, of course, you may be noticing some of those fall colors really popping up. We are uh, getting close to at least the time of the year that we approach our peak of the fall foliage. But around the tri-state, we're starting to see some of those colors pop up across uh, across the area. Typically, it's closer to about a week from now that we see uh, our, our fall foliage peak here in the tri-state, usually somewhere between October 24th to around the end of the month on October 31st. So definitely some beautiful scenes outside. But it, again, is going to be feeling a lot more like fall here over the course of the next couple of days. That's going to start with not only our first freeze, but at the same time, likely our first hard freeze of the season. Typically, both of those are looking like they're going to be ahead of schedule, by the way. Typically, our first freeze is at the end of the month. Likewise, our first hard freeze on average for the Evansville area comes within the first week of November. So we're going to be uh, well ahead of schedule because it is looking likely that the upper 20s for low temperatures, primarily Monday night, Tuesday morning, again, Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, will be bottoming out in the upper 20s. So the coldest air of the season so far, and of course, that first hard freeze of the season looking likely early next week. But outside right now, a calm and quiet and somewhat chilly evening underway. Not as chilly as what we've dealt with here recently, at least. But that's the view outside from the 41 strip in Henderson from our Heads Construction Tower camera. And a calm night shaping up in downtown Owensboro from our RoofClaim.com tower camera looking towards the Blue Bridge there. And uh, a beautiful post-sunset scene here with some of those colors still in the skies from downtown Evansville looking towards the west across the bend of the Ohio. That's from our Superior Ag Tower camera. And temperatures again holding fairly steady across the tri-state here uh, as of the six o'clock update of course then we're likely seeing more places currently as we get closer to seven o'clock in the uh, upper 50s but 61 evansville 60 and uh, henderson owens pearl 63 and some mid 60s uh, 64 calhoun in greenville some of the warmer spots but some mid 50s fif uh, 55 in carmi fairfield coming in at 56 we'll continue that fall through the 50s and a little bit of a split in our temperatures tonight as we have a warm front lifting up from the south may spark a few showers across Western Kentucky, but all quiet right now. And of course, low river levels and steady river conditions continue across the tri-state. But this is the system down to the south that will stay to the south, but it's associated with the warm front that's going to lift up to the north overnight tonight, and then a cold front to the northwest now. It's going to meet that front tomorrow night, and that's what's basically going to combine. And the cold front obviously bringing us those colder temperatures tomorrow night and Monday, but the warm front may make it far enough north across Western Kentucky to give a a few showers early in the day tomorrow. Here's how Future Tracker shows things panning out. Clouds increase, especially south of the river tonight, maybe partly cloudy north of the river, uh, and that's going to be the case again tomorrow. And that's why we're going to be seeing that temperature spread a little bit warmer tonight across western Kentucky with the help of the warm front as well. But best chance tomorrow, late in the morning, early afternoon, a few of those spotty showers across western Kentucky. Then the cold front moves through, and that clears us out by late Sunday night, early Monday morning. We will likely be in the upper 30s by Monday morning, but that's going to set the stage for the cold air to filter in. Highs Monday only in the mid-50s, very windy, so it's going to be a very chilly start to next week. And then at the same time, again, we start to see Monday night, early Tuesday, as we see that hard freeze. So let's get right to that seven-day forecast. Upper 20s for Monday night, Tuesday morning. Yet again, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, staying well below average until the end of next week, where we get back to some more seasonable temperatures heading into next weekend.